president has created three separate marine monuments in the Pacific U.S. territorial waters of the United States. 137 years ago, America's first national park was created in Yellowstone in 1872. It's taken us 137 years to realize that the, for the same reasons that we've embraced the notion of protecting special places on land before they disappear, that we need to do the same thing for unique parts of the world's oceans before they're ravaged by things like fishing, mining, oil and gas exploration, and other kinds of extractive activities. The areas that were protected encompass a, a, a wide variety of different places. And the, the biological resources there are just spectacular. There's huge seabird populations, marvelous assemblages as a fish. In the Mariana Islands, the, the, the only marine mammal survey that's been conducted there found 19 different species of marine mammals, including rare beaked whales. The Lion Islands contain some of the highest concentrations of sharks and apex predators found anywhere on Earth. In the Mariana Trench, for instance, it's so deep, it's the deepest canyon on, in the world. It's so deep that you could drop Mount Everest in and there'd still be a mile of water above it. Within the trench itself, there are active mud volcanoes underneath the water, some of which are 31 miles across. There's liquid boiling pools of liquid sulfur. The only one of its kind found on Earth, the only one that's ever been discovered elsewhere is on one of Jupiter's moons. So there's a, this remarkable array of geological and biological treasures in these places that are well worth saving. There was opposition to the creation of these monuments. This was not an easy lift for this White House. But in the end, the president weighed the benefits of protecting these places for future generations of Americans with the, the short-term benefits of plundering the resources that are there. And when it was all said and done, he made the right decision.